back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys a few methods of using halftime for your switch ups, mostly because uh, I actually really love using halftime. So I might as well show you guys some of my methods of doing a switch up. And you've probably seen a lot of them in my videos, but I didn't always break them down and actually show you how I do them. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm probably going to do a couple because only a few come to mind right now. So who knows, maybe I'll do more if I actually can think of any more. <laughs> And the switch up is gonna come at this part. Like this is gonna be the switch up for now. Right here. So let's begin. Uh, for halftime, like the actual plugin itself, you could use gross beat or you could use halftime. I personally use halftime mostly because you can do a lot with it as in you can tweak the frequencies and everything if you want to have certain things half timed like the lower frequencies or the higher frequencies if you want to mix it up with the original sound and of course you can do the same thing in gross beat but i don't use gross beat mostly because if i use gross beat and if i want to save the project you'll see this the eiffel version that i have the producer edition doesn't actually have gross beat so whenever i use gross beat in a project and if i want to reopen the project later i have to re-add gross beat and i have to remember where i used it on which track and which preset and how i tweaked the things inside of it so i'm just you know not using it that much i only use it right now for tape stops because kind of forgot to install one <laughs> so yeah but in this case if you want to use gross bit i'm going to be showing you guys both plugins for this beat in particular i'm going to be using one fourth so if you go to momentary and then slow triplet this is going to be it so if i disable halftime and i'm only using gross beat right now and if i enable halftime and disable gross beat it's the same thing so as i said momentary slow triplet although i'm gonna be using halftime but from here out it's the same exact thing you're gonna be doing the exact same thing so as i said this is gonna be our switch up but the thing is when you're doing halftime switch ups the secret doesn't lay on the halftime itself it lays on whatever else you're using besides halftime so in this particular case I will be using a reverb and I'm thinking of using a love filter or an EQ to do a uh, band pass. A band pass is basically a low cut and a high cut together. Yeah, let's add love filter for now and reverb. So I'm going to start by automating the mix level of halftime, make the points like this. So it starts right when this part comes in and then it stops right after. So now if I play it back. <laughs> It goes in pretty smoothly. Let's see what we can do with Love Filter. I could use the this low pass preset, but then I'd have to add an EQ to kind of counter it because if I play it now. You know, it's kind of distorted. I mean, it's really distorted. Although it doesn't get as loud, but still, I'd still use an EQ to kind of get rid of some of those frequencies. So kind of going back to adding a band pass to an extent. So I think that's what we'll do for now. We'll see how we can actually blend them. Let's actually add the EQ now. I'm just going to keep on playing it. Also going to lower the, the main volume of the EQ and let's do a band pass, maybe like this. I'm actually, never mind. I'm not going to lower the volume because I'm going to do something else with the EQ or with the reverb and we might need some extra volume like before it, you'll see, but whatever. So far, this is what we have. I'm going to enable the automation for the love filter as well. So it's going to come in at, at the exact same time like this. We're pretty much going to have three automations that are going to look exactly the same, which is the love filter, the halftime and, you know, the EQ. So like this. And now if I play it back. It's loud right now, but that's no problem because we're going to be using the reverb. Now, for the reverb, in this case, what I would do is actually turn the dry pretty much all the way down or maybe to like, I don't know, 15%, 20% ish. Turn the bass down and increase the low cut to an extent, the size as well. We kind of have to listen for this, but 
increase the wet level to like 80. I don't know. We'll see. Something like this. Maybe it doesn't work that well with the, the, the love filter. So I don't know if I disable the love filter and only leave the uh, halftime and the EQ on. Let's see. Okay, this actually works better. I would still use the love filter maybe for an intro, but I'd actually tweak. Uh, I don't know exactly. I think this is it. Tweak the distortion and the way it comes in, but that takes a bit more time, so I'm not going to do that. So let's just get rid of uh, love filter completely. So now we have halftime, EQ, and reverb. And now let's actually automate the reverb. This one is going to be a slightly bit different compared to the main automations because this one is going to come in like this just to ease it in. This is our way of transitioning from no halftime to halftime, basically. And I'd still keep the reverb even after these two are done. So maybe kind of like this. But then again, we have to listen and tweak these. But I think this is going to be fine. So let's just play it. So this is pretty fine. Although there is a level difference, as in volume difference, between no halftime and halftime. So if I play it back from here. But then again, it's a transitioning kind of switch up. It could be an outro, it could be an intro. So it really depends if you want it to be more, uh, not necessarily subtle, because you can't really be subtle with a halftime and whatever but uh, you can make it to be on par like level wise with the non halftime version basically so if i increase this okay this is actually pretty fine yeah this is one way of actually making this transition if you want to let's say uh, add it as an outro let's say uh, these last eight bars right so this is going to be our outro what i'll do is actually chop everything after that point and now let's remake these automations and now we're going to do the same thing with the reverb just take it all the way down leave it on now let's see how it sounds like before we do the master volume transition <laughs> And now to actually finish off the, the beat, you're going to be making or I'm going to be making an automation for the volume of the whole master track. So we're going to copy the value from any of these two points and we're going to be pasting it here. Right click, paste value. And now we're going to be dropping this down all the way. And now it's up to you if you want to have it like a linear transition or like a linear uh, whatever, or if you want to make it a bit more, I don't know abrupt or uh, smooth it's really up to you i usually do it something like this slightly curved to the top and there you have it this is one way of doing you know like an intro or an outro in this case or even like a bridge section if you want to spice up the beat but the second one that i was thinking of was actually the one with the love filter so let's use the same beat basically and uh, let's make like a really short like two bar intro for this right so once again i'm gonna enable the automation in the beginning like this and the reverb i'm gonna keep the reverb until the uh, reese bass comes in so so far like this and now i'm gonna add back the love filter and it's gonna be on for the first two bars as well like this and now the last thing that i'm gonna add is gonna be a tape stop aka i'm gonna be adding a rose beat as i said i would use like kilohertz or even the deep blue tape stop but i don't have it installed for some reason so i'm going to be going to momentary and then vinyl off and i'm going to play with this shape uh until it sounds right because uh it tends to have like a pop at the end by default so i don't want that to be honest and now let's actually grab something that's going to be for the intro i guess 
the first two bars of of this works so and it seems like we've also nailed the a gross bit shape so i'm just gonna create an automation clip and it's only gonna be on from this point to this point because i don't want to have a tape stop right as the beat starts something like this and although we kind of have to transition from the gross beat to not having a gross beat and this is where the master volume comes in as well we're going to be adding a point to let's say about here like one beat before the end of the thing drop it down like this and maybe i guess at a point here where the reese bass would come in right click on the middle point and then make it up like this and now if i play it back Of course, you can make this smoother by playing with the volume automation and playing with, I guess, the gross bit itself or using an actual tape stop, like a good one, which actually lets you change the, I don't know, amount of milliseconds. You can do that on your own. And now for the actual love filter, I'm going to be putting it before the gross beat. And now we're actually going to go to this low pass. Although I think I'm going to disable the EQ for this part. Let's see. Or actually replace it with something else. So let's just disable these points, delete them completely. And uh, let's add another EQ right after the love filter. And let's play with it. Yeah, this works for now. So let's automate it as well. Leave it on for the uh, beginning part. And then it's going to be off throughout the whole track like this. And now we have three different or rather two different ways of using a halftime switch up to an extent. Uh, in a song or in a beat, whatever you want to use it for. Of course, you could add another reverb to make the first intro or the first switch up uh, more, I don't know, different. You can add a lot of different effects. You could add a flanger. You could uh, play with the panning. It's really, really up to you what you want to do extra, I guess. Of course, having the halftime as part of the halftime switch up, but that's pretty much just like the basic bare bones idea. The rest is really up to you. But yeah, that's about it for this video. This is how I would do some certain uh, halftime switch ups some of these especially the one uh, in the intro works pretty well with vocals so if i pull this up real quick it's the same method and it sounds pretty good actually and it also comes in at about this point let me just synchronize the bpm It's pretty much the same way of transitioning from no halftime to halftime. I basically, if I remember correctly, added a reverb automation and it goes from zero to a hundred in the span of like what, one beat or something. Yeah. And then same thing goes for the halftime. I've actually did the same thing with the reverb. The halftime comes in here technically, but it builds up slowly towards 100 in this beat and then everything else but yeah i mean it's pretty simple it's really effective but yeah that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys managed to learn something from this if you guys want to support me you can get my latest loop pack which is gonzo's loop pack volume 10 i actually made a video yesterday on it you can also get my latest drum kit which is gonzo's xxl kit but there might be a new one soon and a bit more affordable at 10 dollars instead of 40 but yeah it was your boy gonzo and i'll see you guys in the next one peace